A little while ago I reviewed this radio link transmitter and receiver combo and talked you through using the application. That video prompted a few questions and this video is a follow-up to that. If you haven't seen the first video there will be a link up on the top of the screen there. In essence then the way the app is installed is a little different to normal. You don't go to the Play Store, you need to go to Radio Link's website. If we look at the website here, we can see that it's talking about the app version 7.1. The previous version, 603, is what I have installed on my mobile at the moment. Why should we even think about upgrading? As always, there are new features and functions available. Unlimited model storage in the phone, uh, the telemetry display can now not only display RSSI but the battery voltage depending on the receiver that you have. You have to have a receiver that is capable of transmitting that. The programmable mixers has been increased by 2 to 4 in total and perhaps most interestingly for me at least is the ability to change the throttle and the dual rates curve. I don't know why it says Cur here, but it's it means the curve, so we'll take a look at that. Note it says that this is only compatible with the T8S Bluetooth version, and that the telemetry functions, as I mentioned, only work with certain receivers, so check those things out. Also importantly, check that you have the latest firmware on your transmitter, which I've already done. Two ways then to get the app. We have the downloadable APK or we can scan the QR code. Previously this was incorrect, but now they've fixed that. Uh, big thumbs up to Radio Link there, very quick off the mark. Just before we scan the QR code, let me show you on the mobile app at the moment. If I go onto the System tab, we can see that it's version 6.3, as I mentioned, and it only has the two programmable mixers in there. The receiver that I'm using has the RSSI capability, so we're seeing the RSSI signal level there, which obviously is going to be very high as it's very, very close. One thing also to note is that we can store various models. At the moment, I've got my Super Cub model here. If I go onto the load screen, we can see I've got Cessna, Bonsai, Mini Quad, etc. Do not be concerned. When you do the upgrade, all of those models will still be available to you. It doesn't wipe that particular part of the directory. Let's then close the app and I'll load up my QR code scanner. And scan. And just to check if you read the URL there, we can see that it's version 7.1. Open that in the browser and it prompts us to download. See the download is nearly finished there. And this is where things depart from, from normal. If you're used to downloading things from the Play Store, you won't get this menu. It, it assumes that anything from the Play Store is legitimate and uh, won't, won't be a virus or something. We know as we've downloaded it from the Radio Link site that it's going to be fine. But we do need to go into the settings and we have this, uh, your phone may be slightly different but you'll see the unknown sources and we just need to toggle that on and it's only for this particular installation. Uh, do you want to install the update? Yes indeed. Let's open the app. So far things look pretty similar. Let's connect up to the radio. There everything looks as before. But if I go across to the system tab now, we can see that it's version 7.1. And in addition to these two programmable mixes, if I now tap on system 2, we can see that we have the programmable mix 3 and 4 in there. And we have the throttle curve and the dual rates curve. We'll go ahead and take a look at those in a moment. Let's now then take a quick look at the throttle and the dual rates curve. The throttle curve coordinates the motor response to the throttle movement. Therefore the horizontal part is the joystick position 
and the vertical is the throttle output. You can see down the left hand side the various points on the graph that we can change. For example, perhaps we have a slow fly model and the throttle curve is much too aggressive. Let's put in some alternative points. Point 0.1 at 0 is fine. Now then, with these new points in, the throttle curve will be much less aggressive and we can fly our slow fly model. Taking a look now then at the dual rates, let's say that we want to put some exponential in there and that we want to reduce the rates. So if we put the rates, say, down to 50 and we introduce an exponential of say 100, then we get a curve like this. The dual rates will be more responsive towards the center of the sticks and as you move out the effect will get less and less. These functions of course would be considered to be standard on a more powerful transmitter but to have these functions in a $50 radio I think is quite exceptional. Hope you enjoyed that overview of the new features and functions of the Radio Link app. Leave any comments in the section below. Thanks for watching.